We've all been talking about her this week. The 80-year-old woman left to fly a plane on Monday after the pilot, her husband, died at the controls. You could only imagine what was going through her mind. But today, with the release of the audio tapes, we found out. Somebody better get here in a hurry. Helen Collins was not a pilot, so she had to rely on the control tower for some quick lessons as she flew over Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. A flight instructor in another plane pulled up alongside to help talk her down. Go ahead and make a left turn, left turn, go ahead and make a left turn, and start a descent. Left turn, that's it, now start a slow descent. After leading her through some practice maneuvers, the instructor decided it was time to land. Go ahead and have close the road, close the road, over. What do you mean by close the road? Uh, I'm talking to the people on the ground, Helen. Don't you have any faith in me? If there wasn't enough trouble already, on final approach, one engine sputtered. I'm running out of gas. No, you're doing fine. No, my, my left engine, my right engine is out. On one engine, two wings, and a prayer, she descended toward the runway. You're not going to make it. No, don't dive for the runway. Do not dive for the runway. That's it. You're doing fine. There you go. Okay, good. Outstanding Helen Collins hurt her back and cracked a rib, but managed to bring the plane to a safe stop.